Hello, my name is Alex Isles and welcome to the College Valley part of Northumberland National Park. And in this episode, we're going to be talking about Neolithic farming. So obviously, the Neolithic period starts around about 4000 BC here in Britain, 6000 years ago. And the farmers migrate into the British Isles. They're a new population group than the Mesolithic hunter-gatherers. So whereas the hunter-gatherers in the previous period are going around the landscape, hunting animals and living off the produce of the land, the new Neolithic farmers are coming in now and they're looking to create permanent settlements. When they first arrived in this region though, it's not likely that they would have created a permanent settlement straight away. They would have probably still had a slight hunter-gatherer attitude when they first arrived here, looking at where it would be best and having a seasonality to their hunting and uh, to their farming. So possibly looking at the hilltops going up there during the summertime to farm on the terraces, but um, sorry, to create farming terraces inside the hilltops, but alongside that as well to look after um, livestock that they would have eventually imported from mainland Europe. Because initially we don't see evidence initially uh, for in the initial stages of the Neolithic farming for animals like cattle and sheep and things like that but later on they would have brought in these domestic breeds from mainland Europe maybe secondary migrations of few, uh, further uh, Neolithic farmers would have brought a livestock with them once they realized that the initial um, groups of um, pioneering farmers had actually been able to set up a lifestyle here in Britain and so once they've set up a lifestyle the subsequent migrations bring over the additional things like livestock, chicken, sheep, cattle, things like that that had become well domesticated in other parts of the world and now have been brought into the area and so as they're brought into the area you start seeing more and more people turn up and they would have started looking at setting up more and more established farms they definitely were eating barley and wheat and farming those throughout the whole region. And right here, even though you can see on the hillsides, that's medieval farming. Uh, you can just see the lines just coming up and down the hills where medieval farmers are farmed here. But it's likely that there could even be earlier settlements of farming or Neolithic or Bronze Age farming on exactly the same site as where we're standing now. So they would have come in, they would have been able to use this fertile valley or other valleys like it up here in Northumberland to actually come in, set up small farms, farm this land here, bring in livestock and really establish themselves. Their interactions with the Mesolithic populations as well would have started at this time and they may have intermarried or the Mesolithic populations may have traded with them but slowly and steadily because the Neolithic farmers have got a more stable diet and the fact they're able to have much larger families they would have then broken off and then maybe let's say an eldest son or an eldest daughter goes off and they go off and start another farm and then they marry into another farming community and they have children as well and their farm starts to grow and then the grandchildren break off to other places you see an expansion where these Neolithic farmers are able to have more um, impact on the landscape because they've got more children than the Mesolithic population who probably are only able to raise one child at a time to give you an idea I have a child who is just uh, coming up to uh, toddling now, or, well she's coming up to walking and as she's coming up to walking I know myself that if I wasn't set in a permanent house or something like that I would struggle as a migra migratory individual to have more than one child because my eyes would need to be on her or my, uh, my wife's eyes would constantly need to be on her to make sure that she was safe so that we could raise her so she would grow into an adult in the same way if with the hunter-gatherer communities each couple or each sort of group is only able maybe to have one child per pair or one child per, um, per, per female so that they can actually ensure that that child grows to adulthood and or at least grows to the teenage years where they can be a productive member of that society and constantly add to it whereas in a farming community because you're not moving all the time you can use some of that time that previously you would have put into moving from one place to another instead into rearing more children you can have larger families and the children can help raise the children as well as you can see in many farming communities throughout most of the world the children help to raise other um, their, their younger siblings just as much as their parents do I think there's a fantastic African proverb that goes it says an entire uh, it takes an entire village to raise a child 
that's what the Neolithic farmers would have known very much themselves of the fact that the whole community would raise those children, those children would grow to adulthood and as they grew to adulthood they would look to farm in the locations as well. So these valleys around Northumberland and other places in the British Isles would have been perfect locations, especially in the warmer period of the Bronze Age, to continue to expand your population. And the Mesolithic population, which was smaller and alongside that relied on um, to, to constantly have uh, food from the land that they were getting, would have been pushed out into the margins as the Neolithic farmers would have taken more and more territory. And we don't see any evidence for a violent takeover. It's just more likely that as the Neolithic farmers set up their landscape and they took over lo different locations, then the, the previous um, Mesolithic populations just would have had less and less land to, to, hunt, to hunt and gather on. And so because of that, their population would have declined until eventually that particular population would have either, either have intermarried with the Bronze Age population or have died out themselves. And so you can see that full population takeover is occurring just because of the fact that they have a settled population that are then farming in and amongst these hills. So I really hope you've enjoyed this video today and you've been able to see how the Neolithic farming communities would have worked the land around here in Northumberland, how those farms would have expanded and how livestock would have been imported in with subsequent generations of um, Neolithic farmers in coming in from the mainland of Europe. If you've enjoyed the video, please do like and subscribe, share it with your friends, and alongside that as well, if you'd like to support the channel, I do have a Patreon where you can be involved in helping to shape the content that I produce in the future. Until next time though, stay safe and well, and thank you so much.